Hey YouTubers, it's Tony with Mayberry Mini Trucks. Today is Saturday, February the 11th, 2023. We have a mini truck which we recently imported from Japan. It was seized by customs and it had an intensive examination and uh, it has been released. And um, this is a, a bit of a complicated thing because sometimes if I get something that's really, really nice, I give it the designated status of unicorn. And that's very rare, but sometimes I'll see a unicorn and I'll call it a unicorn. But what happens when you get something, look at those geese, can you see those? That's amazing, look at them, they're flying south. So sometimes, you know, I'll get a, um, like, well, not sometimes, I've never gotten anything that was more than a unicorn, but today I have. So this is, if a unicorn has that horn on its head, this would be at the tip of the horn, that's all I've got. So what's the unicorn of unicorns? I've run out of adjectives. So this is such a truck. So let's get started. This is a 1997 4x4 four automatic supercharged Subaru Sambar. It has 36,464 miles and is $11,800. So, you know, like I said, I shop really hard and picky, picky, picky. I go for the super nice stuff now. And um, I just don't pay attention to it after that. And then when it comes, it's like, boom, there it is. And uh, so that's, that's the best I can do to explain how I didn't know I had this. And um, the roof is immaculate. It's dirty, very dirty, but beautiful. This door is beautiful, except it has surface rust right there. That is not rust through. But I think you should wire brush that and put a quality paint there and you're good to go. This is a drip mark, a rust drip mark. That's all that is. That'll come right off when it's cleaned and we'll clean it. This is the customs tape where they wrap it and say, no touching, do not touch it. You can't open that door when customs has uh, put an exam status on the truck. You can't go any, you can't, you can go near it. You just can't touch it. Um, this is the front and it is beautiful. No dents, no dings. The tires are remarkable. It's as nice as a set of tires can be. They're Bridgestone Blizzax, which is an ice and snow tire. It's very good. It's a nice combination tire of on-road and off-road. The side panel is perfect, meaning no dents, no dings. Underneath the mat reveals a bed, which is absolutely stellar. Not a drop of rust and is straight as an arrow. And here is the same condition, just beautiful. Now remember guys, it's dirty, but don't count dirty because dirty is just temporary. Here's the tailgate and it's beautiful. It's got a little magnet there, um, but the engine cover is beautiful. The tailgate is beautiful. Everything is nice. And of course, this is the part that makes it the tip of the unicorn spear. Um, you know, very, very nice. No dents, no dings. Little scratch right there on the bedside. But that's it. Just a scratch. No, no dented, no dented sheet metal. This is the side of the vehicle. You can see here. It's got a couple of scratches here, here, and here. And uh, there goes a mini truck customer. And, um, but not, not, not much at all. Beautiful tires. Full-time four-wheel drive. You will notice that the Subaru 
automatic has full-time four-wheel drive and it it works great i just had this thing in the river bottom i mean in the river bed and drove it around no problems i mean it it is nice it is nice and underneath looks fantastic I don't know what that mark is up there. But it looks so nice under here. Beautiful. All right, let's go ahead and check out. Let's just surface rust where somebody tied something and rubbed the paint off. The door panel looks fantastic underneath here under here really good that's just adhesive the seats are beautiful just the tiniest little tear on the side but the seat itself looks beautiful and so does the other seat it's got a trip odometer, it's a little gimmicky. I don't know if you'd ever use that, but here's the automatic shifter, e-brake. Let's go ahead and start it. I just put it in drive and now going to try out the U-turn. See how tight of a turn this thing turns. Very tight. Extremely tight. So just cruising around in my automatic supercharged Subaru. It's mine right now, but I'm like this shoemaker with holes in his shoes. You know, I don't really get to keep a nice mini truck, but I get to enjoy it for a little bit. So we're going like, you know, 37, 38 miles per hour. Just cruising along 40 miles an hour. And these tires are just fantastic. They're Bridgestone Blizzak. So that's about as good as you could really hope for. It's just something you rarely see. So I'm going to give it some gas once we go around this next turn. And get it up to speed a little bit. Well, that was about 62 miles an hour, maybe a little more, somewhere in that range. All right, I'm going to make a U turn. I normally turn around already by this time, but I want to try something a little different. I'm gonna give it a little bit of gas and see. Wow, that's a tight U-turn. You don't wanna fall over that edge. Yikes. That's, that's a benefit of a tight U-turn. You stay out of the uh, bank. Okay, so. I'm going to give it some gas just to see what the supercharger does. So now you can see the speedometer and the road. Got a little shift light, meaning let up on the gas. Yeah, that's as fast as you want to go in that turn. So we're going up a hill, guys, 90 kilometers per hour. So supercharger definitely makes a difference. I mean, we're catching back up to that Toyota Corolla that was uh, passing us earlier. So, all right. Don't want to get carried away, but that is what it's capable of in terms of its, you know, power band. The answer would be quite a bit, quite a bit in comparison to a naturally aspirated vehicle. 
which is what most mini trucks in the mid 90s are. Occasionally you'll see one that's fuel injected, but very occasionally will you see one that is supercharged and you will never ever except on a rare, rare occasion see an automatic supercharged truck. And this is one such time that you'll see an automatic supercharged mini truck. The mini truck that we have is the unicorn of unicorns. It's an automatic supercharged Subaru with low miles, 36,000 original miles. And it's beautiful. So it's just gorgeous. Um, anything else to say? No air conditioning. Uh, you know, roll the windows down. It's not bad in a mini truck, whether it's a Suzuki or Tahatsu, Mitsubishi, Subaru, or Honda. I hear people say, well, Suzuki's and Tahatsu's and Mitsubishi's are hot because of the engine. They're not. They are not hot. That's not true. Um, you know, the Subaru, the engine's in the back, but it's really not much difference. So um, I would like to dispel that as a... Um, a piece of information that's just not accurate and um but yeah so you can call us at 336-777-9957 if you're interested oh now i must tell you that a woman in tennessee has already expressed interest in this vehicle and she has not said i'll take it but she has first rates of refusal and uh, I will keep my word and let her watch this video uh, or answer any other questions that she might have. But she has not said, I want to buy that truck. I actually wanted to video it first before she told me any definitive answer. But she has first right of refusal. But if she doesn't want it, then, um, you know, there's another guy that uh, heard about it and he might be interested. Uh, also, so, um, but, uh, that's the story with it. There is a woman in Tennessee, um, who, uh, might purchase it. If she does, then it's sold. Um, but if she doesn't purchase it, it is not yet sold. So, uh, thank you for watching the video. Uh, I really enjoyed doing this video. I've been, uh, really looking forward to videoing this truck all day long since I first found out about it. And um, if you want to call us, you can call us at 336-777-9957. You can email us at sales at mayberryminitrucks.com. And you can also uh, check out our website at mayberryminitrucks.com. You know, our website is hard to keep our inventory on there because I've got probably 60 or 70 trucks on the website, about, but I've got 300 trucks in my inventory. That's a lot of trucks, more than anybody I'm aware of. And um, the other thing I was going to say is we service our trucks. So we got trucks made street legal and in North Carolina. And so now we got the law passed. Governor Cooper signed our bill into law and we'll give you a title. That's included in the price. So if a mini truck is 7800 not this one, 11.8, but 78, which is a normal price mini truck. Um, you know, you get the title. It's been serviced with full synthetic engine oil, 5W30. We check all the fluids. We test drive it if there's anything wrong with it, like it doesn't run properly at normal operating temperature. That's about 30% of the time. We fix it. And we fix the four-wheel drive if the four-wheel drive isn't working. Because if you buy a truck at auction, you don't know if a four-wheel drive works because it's all concrete. And the trucks are only running for 30 seconds. So they never warm up. So there's a lot of unknowns with a mini truck. But we take care of that. And we feel like that's the responsible thing to do. And then we give you a title. Um, and uh, so, yeah. Um, I uh, can't think of anything else. Do, 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 do. I think that about covers it. So uh, if you're interested in the content that you see on our video, please hit subscribe. Um, the subscription helps us with our analytics. Uh, it's more likely that 
our video will come up when somebody types in mini trucks on YouTube. So if you subscribe, we would appreciate that. And it will also help you, the viewer, find our YouTube channel more easily. And also you can hit the notification bell and that will tell you when a new video has been posted. Uh, and then you can say, hey, let's see if they've got anything nice. So uh, I really appreciate you watching our video. Thank you.